Bridge Strings Club, Part 2. Alright. Alright. Akira, remember, don't interact with the clients unless necessary. Welcome to the club and thank you when I leave. And thank them when they leave. <laughs> If your empathy superpowers make you aware of something you want to share with me, wait until we're alone in the club. Got me? Understood. Welcome to the Red Strings Club, Diana Mays. Oh, am I that famous? Damn you, Kira. Don't go saying clients' names. Should I cover this? I told her you were coming. She's very well informed. Yes, you are that famous. Come on, Diana. You've been on TV. It's only natural. You have admirers, isn't it? Huh, well played. But you don't have to kiss my ass. Yeah, real quick, just push that to the side. Like, come on in. When did you start hiring brats to work at your bar anyway? Are you getting old? Yeah, you know. My legs isn't getting any better exercise. My leg isn't getting any better. And I thought I could use a little extra hand. Ah. Must be facing life without any upgrade, huh? Must be tough facing life without any upgrade, huh? I'm happy. Does that count? Congratulations. You have a light? Oh wow, she got a whole brain implant. Okay. I'll spare you a preamble and guess why you called me. Okay, I'll spare you the preamble and guess why you called me. Is it because of the dead girl at H Corp's clinic? Shit, you engineers don't waste time, do you? I know your boyfriend works with those proxy rascals on a regular. Figured you want details. And I thought I was the information broker. Damn. What's that info gonna cost me? There's some information I'd like you to give me in exchange. This nut will be pretty hard to crack. This nut will be pretty hard to bust. But I trust you're the best. Now you're gilding the pill. What do you say we start with a drink on the house? Yes, please. I've been dying to sip one of your cocktails again. Right away, miss. Hey, Newman! My muse! Are you around? Fear and sympathy. This time it's the real deal. Let's get some information out of this girl. Remember, fill the glasses with spirits to tune to the soul disc. Adjust the size of the disc by adding ice to the drink. Ooh, I filled your notebook with objectives. Please take a look at that. What is psychic well? What is social psyche welfare? What is the mirror neuro? What is the mirror neural algorithm? When do they plan to execute this? What roles does Akira play in all this? Why is supercontinent? Why is supercontinent doing this? Is it legal? Is the government aware of this? Okay. Deep down vodka. <laughs> Now let's get to making this drink. I'll be taking notes, adding facts, and updating objectives as we progress. So please, check it out now and then. Ah, one more thing. Before asking her any questions, think about whether she's in the right mood to answer them. Look at that, right over the eye. This isn't a video game. We can't keep repeating the same dialogue again and again and again. 
you need to change the mood, the server another drink. We'll take it from there. In this case, sympathy may, sympathy may draw out her confession and fear may exploit her paranoia. I'll trust your instincts, my magical friend. I guess we should go for sympathy. This whole game is about making stuff, isn't it? Oh, whoa! Okay, I see. So this one makes it go up, if I'm not mistaken. I see the little game you're playing here. Oh, don't worry about that. Uh-huh. I figured it out. Ah, oh, that's too much! How do you make it go down? I guess it's the... This one? Jesus. <laughs> I'm gonna dock my pay for that. Alright. Oh, that's too far down. You know what, ma'am? <laughs> I'm gonna need to start over, if you don't mind. Woo! Yeah, it was fun, wasn't it? I'm doing some bartender tricks. Alright, I'm gonna flip this one around. You like that? Alright, we're gonna get out over there. Alright, alright. Just add a touch of this. I'll put a downer in there. I don't know if it has to be perfect. Rice. And just a tad, just a tap, just a tap, just a tap. All right. Just a trickle. A little bit more. A little bit more. Bam! In your face. Alright, let's go. Come on, let's see. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Oh god. You're the fucking best. Why do you need the information dealing with side hustles when you make cocktails this good? I'm telling you, you should be a world famous bartender. I'm glad you like it. She seems to be in a good mood. What should I start with? Tell me about Aridia's death. What information do you have for me? What have you been working on lately? Vain worry about Brenda's personality issues. It's between one of these. It's more, I don't know, man. I feel like I should, I don't know how the question system works. I'm gonna go with this. So what information do you want from me? Want? I thought he meant have. As I said, it's a tough nut to crack. And by tough, I mean dangerous. Here. But I figure that's never been a problem for you. Nothing can get me as long as I run the red strip. The Red Strings Club. I'm invincible in these walls, girl. Fire away. I want to know the CEO of Client, Super Client. Whatever. Come again? Don't you work for them? No. Can't you just Google it? What you'll find online is just a super. Supercontinent's CEO is Jack B. Gaynor. But you also see is that he hasn't been public he hasn't made a public appearance in two years. You're implying the CEO has been supplanted? Supplanted? I've never seen that word before. Damn I wanna Google it. Where is my phone? Oh I got it. Supplant. Supersede or replace? You're implying the CEO has been supplanted. Supersede or replace? That's one hypothesis, yeah. The fact is, no one's seen him around for a long time. 
And that lately, supercontinent's philosophy methods have changed dramatically. And that lately, supercontinent's philosophy and methods have changed dramatically. They've been quite a bit more aggressive. Supercontinent's been more aggressive of late. I see. Okay, Diane. How can I see this? Or do I not have to look at it right now? <clears throat> what have you been working on lately? Hey, tell me how you've been. What have you been working on lately? Is this an official inquiry? Or are you just making small talk? I'm sincerely interested in how you're doing. I'm sincerely interested in how you're doing. That's how you get information out of people. Remember, honey is better than salt. Or something like that. <laughs> oh, don't be so oily, Don Donnie. Oh, don't be so oily, Donnie. Sorry, occupational habit. But seriously, you okay? Not in my peak, I'd say. Too much going on lately. But you don't have to worry about me. You know, the information broker thing is just a side business. As the Red Shoes Club bartender, my true calling is to heal souls. Smooth, brother, smooth. What a good Samaritan you are. But don't sweat it. I swapped my soul for a brain processor a long time ago. Bananas. Nothing to heal here. Well, damn, lady. How about we get you tipsy again? Let's work on that fear, why don't we? Since you want to be such a hard ball. Damn it. It was almost perfect. Just a tad bit more. Yeah, drip. That's all it takes. Just a little pop. Just a little pop. That's how you do it. Come on now, I need you to loosen up. Mmm, really sour. You don't like it? Yeah, sorry. Listen. I'm starting to get a bad feeling about all this. Do you mind if we do this quick? Of course, no problem. Fear seems to be... Fear seems to have taken hold of her. How do I start? Feign worry about... Listen, Diane, I'm worried about something. Brandis is becoming more anxious lately. Sometimes depressed, sometimes aggressive. It's like there's something wrong with him. <laughs> You're a heavy implant user like him. Can you help me in any way? It's not possible. Are you applying this my fault? No, not, not at all. I just wonder because of the line of work you're in. If you could help me. And that's why my line of work is supposed to be here. Uh... What the heck? Oh god, I'm losing her. And what's my line of work supposed to be, huh? Who did you speak with? If I'm in danger, you should tell me already. Yes, you may be in danger. What? How? Why? What do you want from me? Diane, I'm not your enemy here. I didn't speak with anyone. But Proxima? I think they may have found out about your recent project. They know about SWB? What? They know about SPW? How's that possible? Social Psychic Warfare, isn't it? Welfare. Yeah. So they told me about it. 
they did. Don't worry. I don't think they know much more than your name. Than the name. How are you so sure? I'm the best in the city at extracting information. I dug deep, and I'm 100% sure that's all they have so far. That's a very bad news for me, Donovan. I'm the director of the project. Uh-oh. Well, that's why I'm here for. You help me, and I'll make sure they get nothing on you. Dealing with information isn't just about selling it. It's about controlling it, too. Tell me more about SPW, and I'll make sure to keep them. <clears throat> Tell me more about SPW, and I'll make sure to keep them all in the dark. And that's... And what's in it for you? Besides controlling information, knowing more about what might be running inside Bradus. Yeah, Bradus. I'm sorry. Okay, let's talk about it. Tell me more about SPW. Ah, do we have to actually discuss it? You've already discovered I'm the director, so what else do you need? Just tell me a bit more about what it actually is. My life could be in danger, Donovan. Is there not anything else I could tell you about? Just not that, please. This might not... This may not be the best state to ask about corporate secrets. Yeah, I don't think fear is working too well. This woman is gonna be tipsy. She even paying for these drinks? Gotta keep the lights on in this place. They're neon. And just a big pour. There we go. Big pour, big pour, big dips. Big dips, big dips. Whoa! Wasting the damn merchandise! Think, think. Alright, calm your damn horses. You're freaking out on me. You need to be relaxed. Tell me more about SPW. I guess there's no way back with you, so I roll all in. Are you ready? Shoot. SPW is the greatest revolution in the area of the human comfort. We've been working for a long time on designing a system that always keeps the user at their best. SPW is able to tell a part feeling like depression, anxiety, rage, Keep them in check, using only the power of your own psychology. It's all natural, no secondary effects. Won't SPW make you stop being you? Isn't SPW going to affect creativity? SPW sounds like a mind control device to me. Don't you think it's all a little bit unnatural? Haha, <laughs> that's quite a stretch. Isn't happiness what drives us forward? What you're selling sounds like some... What you're selling sounds like the worst kind of comfortism. No one will ever be willing to fight, to rebel, disrupt, the, disrupt our world. It's pretty convenient for corpse and government to like, isn't it? The fine print of eternal happiness is absolute obedience. Don't exaggerate. I'm using SPW right now. Do you see me as a harmless lamb? I don't think so. How can you know? I feel better than ever. See, you're wrong about unhappiness being the greatest motivator. The best goals are born from joy and love. I don't blame you. You've always been a survivor. Those days are almost over. I don't want to sound delusional here, but SPW is fucking worldwide peace. Can't you see it? Excuse me, but no, I can't see it. The world needs disagreement to keep evolving. World peace is just an et eternal slumber. 
let me stop you right there. Before you were making a plea of war, before you start making a plea of war, for war, you know that's not what I mean. Only that you just said world peace is bad for humanity. Okay, this argument is getting us nowhere. Let's change the subject. I've had enough SPW for today. Don't you think it's all a bit unnatural? Oh, now you're talking like an old timer. You know how many times that argument has been wielded against me in the process? This isn't progress, it's de evolution. I did sound like grandpa, yeah. Huh. Damn. I sound like grandpa, huh? You said it. <laughs> but yeah, unnatural is the best. But yeah, unnatural is not the best agreement to use against progress. Argument. What's wrong with me? We've been burning. We are not burning witches anymore, Donovan. Yeah, yeah, stop rubbing salt in the wound. Okay. This is probably just what I should have started with. Is an SPW going to affect creativity? I hope so. Excuse me? Depression is a source of inspiration. It's just an unhealthy myth. Maslow, Maslow's period. Maslow's pyramid, baby. To achieve self-realization, to fully embrace creativity, you first have to be at peace. You don't have to be depressed to write a dark tale. You don't have to hate to draw violence. Art is emotion, through the filter of a calm focus. Okay, but what experiences is the artist supposed to distill if they haven't felt anything before? Oh, but haven't we all felt enough already? But there is so much left to feel. Don't be a hypocrite. There's so much left to feel. And for what? Just to suffer? You're saying that, you're saying that it's justified to let people be in pain just in case they're potential artists. That's ridic- that's a ridiculous oversimplification. We know sweet because we know sour. We know good because we know evil. Removing one side of life's duality, the prize of- the prize the other of meaning. In your occasional way of life, maybe. In your Occidental? Occidental? Hey Siri, define Occidental. That's an adjective. Occidental relating to the countries of the West. Do you want to hear the remaining one? Yeah, I don't know. But the most Zen way. No. No, oh, no, no, you, you, that's enough. Thank you. But the most zen way to go is to reject du But the most zen way to go is to reject dualism altogether. There's no being sad or being happy. There's just being. SPW grants the completeness of a zen master without... The sentiism. I haven't looked at it like that. Oh, I hadn't looked at it like that. I can lend you... I can lend you a couple of great books on the topic. You know, since you won't be able to benefit from SPW. I have my own ways of reaching mindfulness. What about the mirror neural? What about the mirror neural algorithm? The what? Won't that allow me to access the benefits of SPW2? I don't have a single clue what you're talking about, Donovan. Really. I must have mixed information from different projects. But the name does sound interesting. What is it? Oh, I'm very sorry. I couldn't afford... You couldn't afford that information, Diane. What a tease. So, is that all about SPW? Let's find out.
Won't SPW make you stop being you? It's not going to affect individuality at all. It's only natural to be scared at the process of unlimited happiness. But this is less intrusive than the average antidepressant the city's inhabitants swallow every day. So you're saying that removing an important part of the mood spectrum isn't going to change our personalities? I didn't say that. It will help us access our better selves. Or do you enjoy being sad? I wouldn't like to lose my sadness. Yeah. I wouldn't like to lose my sadness. Why not? Sadness is not ugly, Diane. I've been bartending for a couple decades now. I've gotten to wit witness innumerable forms of sadness right there where you're sitting. And it could be a beautiful thing. It's moving. It draws us together. She's just thinking. Wishing. So you actively working to suppress it? Just feels like a crime against humanity to me. Wow. I'm not ready to debate such poetry. Give it some thought, please. I will. I promise. Oh, she got it herself! We're getting somewhere! Is there anything else? I've had enough of that for today. I'm really excited about all <clears throat> really excited about all this. Sorry. Sorry you're not a fan of it. But just accept it. This is the future. No. The present. Don't let it get under your skin, or you'll ruin that fragile handcrafted happiness of yours. Tell me about somebody's death. Oh, so you already know who it was. Well, that's my job. I called you hoping you could tell me something I don't know. What do you want to know then? Why was she killed? Why did she have to be silenced? What was she doing there? Why did she have to be silenced? Wow, silence. That word choice. From what I know, Adrian was on that was there to steal some data. Silence is the good way to put it, don't you think? Only way for somebody to be killed by the security system is to jeopardize a client's life. Adriana's never killed anyone. Look, I'm sorry for her. She just bit off where she could chew. What might that be? Does it have to be with Akira? Oh yeah? What might that be? Hmm. Supercontinent has a lot of secrets. What could Adrian possibly be interested? What could... Is it Iridia? Iridian? What could Iridian possibly be interested in that? What could Adriana possibly be interested in that she would risk her skin by sneaking into the implant clinic? What could Adriana? What could Adriana possibly be interested in that she would risk her skin sneaking into the implant clinic? The latest designs for human upgrades. Come on, Diane. Don't tell me you came to the club just to mock me. I'm sorry, but it's true. Supercontinent has a lot of secrets. I can't start blabbing about my contracts. You need to be more specific if you want me to, specific if you want me to snitch. And don't abuse the privilege. Pick just one topic, please. Okay, then. What's it have to do with Akira? Wow. What a bull card to play. So, you know about Project Akira. You really know your work, Donovan. I haven't seen them in person myself. But I tell you, those androids are the stuff of the future. The lead architect, Dr. Coldstream, is a fucking genius. Man of the century to me. <laughs> Man of the century to me. And he doesn't even wear a brain processor like me. 
I bet substituting part of his brain with a machine would be just, what is wrong? I bet substituting part of his brain with a machine would just devalue it. Focus, Adriana. Focus, Diane. Adriana. Oh yeah, sorry. Mm. If she just, if she infiltrated Age Corp's clinic, it's possible she could have found an Adrian, an Akira android. I think the coffee is giving me too much energy. But to be honest, this is like my third cup. Because I had, no, it's not. Second cup. So black coffee is definitely stronger. Oh, way stronger. They're supposed to be crafting the latest human upgrades in Supercontinent. But for what I know, the marketing team was getting ready to make some announcements regarding Akira. I don't think the Supercontinent would kill someone over a commercial link. At least, not so close to the reveal. <sighs> what do you know about Supercontinent CEO? If you don't mind me asking, do you want to know about Supercontinent CEO? I guess a proper explanation is due. If I want you to do a decent job. As I said, I believe the CEO is no longer Jack B. Gaynor. I've never met a guy in person, nor was he a celebrity. I've never met the guy in person, nor was he a celebrity. But he showed his face when necessary. Now I can't find a record of public appearance that's not at least two years old. Plus, Supercontinent's tragedy changed dramatically over two years. Changed how? I feel like they've become more aggressive. Cruelly pr pragmatic. So, you're worried because they're behaving like a normal corporation. Yes. I didn't take you for an idealistic yuppie, Diane. Supercontinent has never been up to any good, no matter how pretty their marketing. Except, they actually serve a greater good. Supercontinent has done a lot for this country and people around the world. For example, look, Supercontinent is powerful. They're not a massive corporation. Their fundamentally grow their fundamental goal their fundamental goal isn't to accumulate power, but to grow their ability to help people. Supercontinent's executives are some of the lowest paid among major world corporations. That's because they don't aim for profit, but social change. I witnessed it all myself. I'm part of it. Supercontinent plays the corporation's game, but their goals aren't so different from yours. SC has fought many unchecked laws, keeping governments in check. SC pleads to... pleads for decent housing for everyone. And they offer free legal representation to those who can't afford it. Hell, a few years ago, they dismantled an entire city because of belief in corporation. Hell, a few years ago, they dismantled the entire city because of police corruption. So how come they want to lobotomize us? If they're so nice, what do you have to fear? Okay, let's say they're not so bad. Okay, let's say they're not so bad. I understand corporations don't seem like the friendliest types. But trust me, we're here to fight the bad guys too. Nobody said the social justice has to come from hat to this or revolutionary punks exclusively. I just hope they're ready I hope you're ready to face the music and they disappoint you. <laughs> you have better things to do than worry about me. Ah, uh, Donovan. 
If I hadn't removed the part of my brain that processes love, I'd swear I'd fall for you every time. I don't know how you do it, but I always leave the club shaking. I'm starting to think you're pretty... You're putting something in my drinks. <laughs> Just alcohol, I swear. But I'm glad I can get through your ice-cold processes and stir those artificial feelings of yours. Hey, they're not artificial. They're just upgraded. Emotions can be a pitfall for a scientist like me. Better to have them in check. You ought to live more dangerously, Diane. Inspiration plays a big part in being a memorable, a memorable scientist. Maybe. I'll make sure to come to the club every... Maybe. I'll make sure to come back to the club Anytime I need a good old mojo. Please do. I should be leaving now. Thanks for the drinks, the chat, and the info. And please, call me as soon as you get something on SCCO. I will. Thank you for coming in, Diane. My pleasure. Diana! Not Diane, but it don't matter. Thank you for coming. See you next time, Diana. Okay, Akira, listen. Never again say a customer's name. Why not? Because it makes them feel uncomfortable and paranoid. I was taught that rep <clears throat> I was taught that repeating someone's name builds trust and famili familiarity. Yeah, but Red Drinks Club is a haven of sorts. My clients value their anonymity. Anonymity. If you blab their names right when they come in, they'll think I told you all about them. And you're supposed to be a mere trainee. Leave the name dropping to me. Understood. I'm sorry, Donovan. Don't sweat it. Just keep it in mind, Akira. It won't happen again, Donovan. Very well, Akira. Let's focus on your aptitude instead of your weaknesses. Get any interesting insights from your empath empathic algorithms? Empathic algorithms. Get any interesting information on your empathetic algorithms? Indeed. However, I don't see an easy way to properly communicate them. So I propose. I like to propose a game. A game you're full of surprises. Play is one of the most primal. Sorry about that. <laughs> Play is one of the most primal human devices from learning and development. Transmitting the vast amount of data I've gathered from your conversation with Diane is impossible. So I've designed a process to let you reach your own conclusions. Moreover, I get to better understand you, so we can improve as a team. Sounds like a pro PR talk. HR. But sure, I'm in. How do we play? I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Ten, to be exact. I have my own answers to them. I'm more interested in your input. When we are finished, I will let you know how many of them you got right. If you score seven out of ten, I'll grant you a new skill. What? A new skill? Did they use an AI of an RPG villager to build you? And what the hell do you even do? What the hell can you even do? A game without rewards proves to be very dull. And yes, I grant you something to improve your bartending skills. Why don't you give it to me now? I'm designed to make you happy. A much different thing than granting every wish. Sometimes I feel like you're some dumb mannequin. But now, I believe you're the very devil running. I believe the very devil could be running through your circuits. Shall I begin? Ah, oh, this is exciting. You're more twisted than I thought. Give it to me. Is Diana's physically attracted to you? 
come on again. Come again? What kind of question is that? And how am I supposed to know? Please, just answer my questions. I know what I'm doing. Is Diana physically attracted to you? I don't think she's attracted physically, right? It's his mind that she's attracted to. Or the way he charms her. What does it mean to be physically attracted to somebody? Like their body? <sighs> I'm overthinking it! Yes. Is Diana 100% loyal to Supercontinent's LTD? Yes. Is she proud of the social psychic warfare? Yes. Would Diana be happier without the effects of SPW? No. Does Diana know about the mirror neuron algorithm? No. Who is the person Diane most admires? Coldstream. Regarding your bartending? What spirit does Diane enjoy the most? Shit! It's, uh... Bourbon, right? Because that's the one with the arrow going up. I guess. Did Diana lie to you during your conversation? Yeah, probably. What is Diana's greatest fear right now? Proxima. Is the social psychic warfare as bad as you thought? This one I can fail since... It's my opinion. No. Maybe. It's... Maybe it's as hard as not lying. Is SPW as bad as you thought? No, but it should be optional. Well, I can see its benefits. I mean, nowadays, you can have whatever psychic you can have whatever psychoactive drug you want becoming a smiling bastard should be a decision of the implant where this silent update is a crime no matter how you look at it now that was the last question uh oh now okay that was the last question did i pass you got seven out of ten questions right. Yeah! Yeah! Cause I thought I fucked up. Congratulations, you're a sharp man, Donovan. That sounds a little conceding, but okay. Whew. What did I win? I'm going to produce a short span memory resetter for you. Is that a cool name for short? For a shot? For a shot? No, one of my abilities is to synthesize psychoactive drugs. The system is designed to deal with emergency anxiety crises and such. But given the unusual context you're in, it can widen its purposes. Add this to a client's drink when they and they will think Add this to a client's drink, and they think, and add this to a client's drink, and they will think they just sat at your bar for the first time. That way, you can explore different paths in a conversation without them noticing. That sounds crazy and a bit immoral. Why? Aren't you manipulating them with your drinks? I thought this would be helpful. Ah, uh, you got me there. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. I'm sorry, Donovan. Stop apologizing! It's okay. I'll save it for an emergency. Say, how much of this can you produce? Not much. I have a limited chemical repository for such purposes. So I'd rather keep these prizes. I'd rather keep these as prizes for our little game. How playful are you? How playful of you? Gotcha. Let's keep it like this then. 
I detect a client approaching the club. So soon? Didn't expect anyone else tonight. Damn, an hour went by so fast. Do you want me to check that background? Yes, please. Naomi Kasi, 34 years old. She's a corporate lawyer at SC's. She's a corporate lawyer at SC. Footage of a nearby location shows that she has been shadowing Diana. Oh. This might be this may be troublesome. Do you want me to drive her away? Can you do that? I could send fake emergency meeting requests to her phone, for example. Your skills seem to be your skill set seem your skill set begins to seem uncanny. Do you want me to drive her away? No, let her in. If fate brought her to the Red Strings Club, there must be a reason. And we're happy and we're happily going to exploit that. Welcome to the Red Strings Club. Absentee on the rocks, please. Welcome to the Red Strings Club, miss. I'm afraid we can't just serve that to you. This isn't your usual bar. Here. You tell me how you feel, and I'll fix you a matching drink. I see. And I feel like asking you a series of questions regarding why you're prying into my client's business. How dry. You must be a lawyer, no? That's correct. I'm here representing Supercontinent's interests. What was Diana Mears? What was Diana Mears Beer's business here? Hold your horses now. Apart from serving drinks. I'm also an information broker. So questions, so questions have a price tag in this club. Okay, how much? Here's the deal. You ask me as many questions as you want, and I get to ask that many questions myself. Fair enough. Although she, although I should inform you that unlike you, I won't be able to disclose any of my clients' sensitive information. Fair enough. Although I must let you know that unlike you, I know my way around empathy. And you risk leaking more information than you might think. I'll take my chances, mister. The name's Donovan, owner of the Red Strings Club. Nice to meet you. I am Naomi. I am Naomi. Koss. Mrs. Koos. Corporate lawyer at, C at SE's. I am Naomi Koss, corporate lawyer at SE Limited. Shall we commence business? Fire away. What is Diana's beers? What is Diana Myers' business here? I wanted to gather some information on SPW. Ah, she's an old friend. She pays me a visit every now and then. We had a drink and caught up. That's it. Please, at least have the decency not to lie to me. I won't lie to you either. If I can't, if I can't disclose something, I will clearly specify so. Expect that that was except that that was the truth, Miss Koss. Friendships may be alien to your world, but we still keep loving each other at street level. Next question is about Proxima's organization. They've been making trouble for my client lately. I'd like to know exactly what Proxima's got on SC. I'm definitely not gonna lie, but I'm wondering if I should tell them that they snatched the Akira unit, or I, should, I don't feel like I should tell them that she has Well, I guess you're aware that Proxima is a died in one of your clients in one of your clinics. Uh, well, I guess you're aware that Proxima agent died in one of your clinics recently. Can't comment. Please continue. 
it so happens that Agent Man to access some juicy intel from one of your executives. More precisely, about the SPW and the MNA. Ring any bills? That's enough. Next question. Your ellipses are quite revealing. You know that. Next question. Where is Jonas Sipes? Who is that? Come again? Where is Joanne Sipes? You're saying that as, as if I should know her. What poor... What a poor information dealer. What a poor information dealer you are. If you don't know... If you don't even know... Oh! Oh, COO. If you don't even know who SC's COO officer... What's the matter? Is she missing? Forget about it. That was all I had to ask. My turn, then. Go ahead, you have three questions. I can't have you sitting there without a drink, though. This is a club, after all. Okay, but I won't be telling you how I feel or any of that nonsense. Don't worry. You'll let me know enough about you already. Trust me, you'll like this. Stress, ambition, remorse. I'm gonna do stress. She doesn't have an implant as far as I see. Let's find out. Does it say which of these? Okay, so deep down vodka is the white. The bourbon is the brown. Westward. Okay, this is tequila. Yellow is tequila. And the green is whatever that is. Okay. So, whatever this is. Stressed out. Well, do we want her to be stressed out when we ask her questions? I don't know. I'm just gonna fucking wing it. Get stressed. just ignore all of the shit that my brain is telling me to do. Oh, can I put this over here? Oh, I can. And I'm going to go Bada bing. I have to admit, you serve good stuff here. Ah, what am I doing in a bar at a time like this? Something troubling you? No, nothing. It's not my place to judge a client. Just ask your questions. Mm. Could she be going through an ethical crisis? That's the end. Three questions left. Choose the topic wisely. Doing more. Who's the highest authority? Why didn't the CEO tell me about you? Will everything be ready for the unveiling of SPW next week? What's the deal with this Joanne character? She is... She... It's only natural she's missing. 
Do you mind telling me more? Maybe I can help you with this. For the record, I'm only sharing this because joining life might be in danger. Otherwise, I would never break attorney client privilege. Don't worry, it's very, it's very clear to me how detestable professionally. Don't worry, it's very clear to me how detestably professional you are. So what? So what happened to Joanne? Last thing we know is some of her co-workers heard her crying in the bathroom. It's very unlike her, so the theory is that she might be a problem. It might be a problem with her implants. Or that someone drugged her. We might need you to track her down before she does something stupid. We might need to track her down before she does something stupid. I've already said enough. Knowing that, have you heard anything that might be able to help us? I'm perplexed. Nothing has reached my ears yet, though. I'll stay. I'm still on the lookout for any clues, and I'll call you if I find anything useful. At a price, of course. Money's not a problem. So if you have anything, just call me, and you'll be appropriately rewarded. It seems Iridia's rogue implants might have fulfilled their purpose. Akira's just... Akira gave Joanna the hippie, which magnifies compassion. Oh! Maybe she's having a second thought to broke down. Two questions left. Use the topic wisely. and then be like she didn't tell me about you oh, not tequila so she doesn't like tequila but she might enjoy some more of this it seems to be her favorite drink Yay, yay, yay! Can I pour some There's a tip. Bada bing! And just some ice? Ice makes everything nice! Got some absinthe on the rocks in the end. Really know your game though. This is the best glass of absence I've ever had. Really intrigued. I feel great. Ha! Glad you like it. He seems to be power drone. Time to attack. Yep! I know what I'm doing here! Finally! Huh? See, curious why I haven't been warned about your visit. Are you acting on your own? Of course not. But I don't get my orders directly from Lanada. That's nuts. Okay, we found her name. Alright. Hey, let's go, man. You know, since Jack left the position, so I can't. We've had some unusual requests from your company. I didn't even read those. I was too hype. Oh, whoa, whoa! Look at that! I didn't see this. What's this picture? Sorry, but I 
definitely won't cross that line. It's rad. It's Haika we're talking about. This matter totally outranks you. Forget I asked about it. I'll let her know you come by. Wait, it's my duty to know about my client's endeavors. You've got nothing to fear. It's all protected by attorney client representation agreement. Could you at least tell me what was my company wanted from you? Let's exchange secrets. Tell you what, let's exchange some secrets about hiking. You tell me something juicy, I'll tell you what business. What was her business here? It's my boss that we're talking about here, so you go first. Okay. Haika, she may want to get rid of you. If she wanted information from the former CEO. Ooh, I feel like that's the one. She wanted information on Proxy Mind. But she might want to get rid of you. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like either top or bottom, to be honest. I feel like we get further. Damn, what, I got a quarter or something? Alright, I'm gonna do head to tails. Heads, for the top, bottom, tails. Heads, we're going heads. She might want to get rid of you. What? I don't want to alarm you, but she might get rid of you at the SPW. Why would she do that? The one thing is, she never mentioned you specifically. She made it clear that she has to tie up loose ends when all this is over. I don't believe you. Why? I see what you're doing here. You're trying to scare me into running my mouth on some vague threats? Damn! You need to do better than that to scare a corporate Don't tell me I didn't warn you. She didn't buy it. Oh, I tried. Shit! I should have went with the bottom one! I knew something was up with that. I should have. Alright, we got ambition. Stress. And I'm gonna ask her about the ambition. See, I was I was about to go into this shit. All wrong. I probably wouldn't have got nothing. I was thinking. I'm thinking. I think I'm doing pretty good. I mean, I could probably be doing better, but all in all, I think I'm doing pretty good. Alrighty. This is a longer game than I thought it was, to be honest. Alright, spill the beans, lady. I shouldn't be wasting time here. Make your questions quick. I have a lot on my plate. The drink won't hurt. Relax. She seems stressed. Let's avoid that. Will everything be ready? For the unveiling of SPW next week? Fuck me. It can't be next week. That's what my people on the inside told me. Those clowns from marketing are going to hear from me. We're always cleaning up after them in the legal department. A couple of my journal friends I already know. They told me what they're doing. They told me they're even doing TV. Sure. Seriously? They already on that psych of... I don't know what that word is. Jenny Size? Jenny what? Oh, marketing. Stupid name for the press operation. Forget about it. Thank you for letting me in any case. No problem. Well, I'm afraid you run out of questions. 
I've got too much to do tonight, so goodbye. Sure. Go and spread the law through town. You seem to be enjoying yourself. So just in case, I'll inform you of the current situation. Essie's going through turbulent times right now. That's good. That spells change for a company I've seen. That spells change for a company. I've seen it many times. But in the process, there's usually a trail of cause. <clears throat> but in the process, there's usually a trail of casualties. The way you're playing right now, you've got a ticket to become one of them. Damn. Be warned, Mr. Bartender. Didn't know corporate lawyers were, were in the business of extending such stylish death threats. Huh. There are many fates worse than death when up against corporate law. Have a good night. Oh, she does have an implant. Thank you for coming. See you next time. Was my performance to your satisfaction this time? Excellent. Thank you very much. So, quiz time now? If you please. Of course. I found it quite amusing, in fact. 7 out of 10 to earn a prize, right? Go ahead. Is she a psychopath? What? Are you... Aren't you going to ask me if she's attracted to me this time? Uh -huh. It's irrelevant, not in this case. Answer the question, please. How the fuck should I know? Okay, from all the shit that she said... I don't think she's a psychopath. I feel like she's just more of a lawyer. But that death threat at the end, though, that was kind of crazy. But that was more of like a warning and a death threat, to be honest. I'm gonna go with no. I mean, she probably is. Don't get me wrong. She's probably fucking nuts, but no. What is her top priority right now? To investigate Diane's loyalty. To access the danger. Yeah, this. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I didn't ask you about that. To be honest, I feel like, as a corporate lawyer, I feel like she would know something about that. You know, like, even though I didn't ask, I feel like she she has some kind of idea. She has to. That's her job. Is Naomi, yes. Is Naomi capable of betraying Supercontinent? She is capable of it. Is she capable of covering murder? Oh, of course. Is she capable of committing murder for her employer? <sighs> I feel like, yeah. Regarding SPW, does Naomi believe SPW is a good thing? I did not ask that damn question. She said there'd be a lot of casualties. So, yes. Do you think technology manufacturers have the right to alter their products after sale? No. If SC's design created and distributed the human upgrades, do you think they have the right to modify them? As in by adding SPW to them, among other things, do they have the right to modify them? Yes, but they should be clear about it. Yes, we wouldn't have it after, we wouldn't have it without them after all. I don't know how they look at it, because if it's like, like, think about, like, computer software, you know? You pay for the product, you pay for the software, and then they add updates to it. But it's like, in this case, this is more of P 
people's brains. You know, like, they have too much power with this. So, I'm going to say... I mean, you would think it would be... <sighs> yes, but they have to be clear about it. I want to say no, to be real. No technology bears responsibility. Yes, we wouldn't have it without them after all. That sounds wrong as hell. Yes, but they should be clear about it. I'll say yeah. Super SC is concealing the fact that something they sold is going to fundamentally change you. Isn't that normal? Isn't that the normal procedure for all technology? Dozens of firmware updates are pushed on a daily basis. Its users accept in its terms and conditions blindfolded. So you're saying that this is a public's this is the public's fault. I'm not very versed in the human concept of fault. It is my understanding, though, that accepting something without thought is a sign of trust. Yeah, true be told. In that case, I'd rather call it ignorance than trust. People have been indoctrinated over the years to accept whatever updates corpse throw at them. So the problem is not SC's modification, it's creation but the lack of education among their users. Yeah, that could be it too. In a free society, isn't education an individual's responsibility? Mm, yeah, but you know. If you want to put it blankly, I find it funny that certain educational needs aren't even being met. Like, the baseline educational needs are subpar to what they should be like in other countries you know they they go full force but some places just you know they don't do what they should do like i don't know you could say it's an individual responsibility but on one hand this is this is the society that you're putting together you know what i'm saying like like i feel like bro, i don't know they, they don't teach what they should i always feel like that they gonna teach you something. Teach you, teach you something good. Not in my opinion. Profes the prof the pro Not in my opinion. The powerful educate. Parents teach. School teach. The media teaches. The government teaches. The issue might be that the issue might be then that you don't agree with what they're teaching. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. some shit you should be like. Like, having art or some shit as, like, a main course in school. Like, what the fuck? I understand, like, being creative or whatever, but you kind of incorporate that into, like, a writing class, I feel like. Like, those two should go hand in hand, to be honest, because it's all creative base, you know, unless you're just learning the fundamentals of writing. But most of the time, they go a little bit more in-depth than that. I feel like you should have, like, home economics as a baseline educational course. You know what I'm saying? Like, garden, parenting, you know basic health needs most people don't even know how to wash clothes and none of that like bro come on that's baseline stuff but i mean i guess that falls into the parent but why not throw it into schools so people have some type of understanding you know to begin with taxes like that's fundamental government shit why isn't that in schools like what i don't get it that should be something that's like right there in your face or at least make it easy on the air part but enough of that <laughs> Told companies should be clear about changes they make to their product. I feel like some of this shit gonna come back back in the ass. Some of this shit right here. That's beyond a doubt, yes. Was that a question or just food for thought anyway? Indeed. It was a it was a tenth question. Thank you for a live meeting. And what how'd I do? No! I missed one! I'm sorry you failed. Fuck you. No do-overs at the time? No, I'm sorry. We're not in a tutorial anymore. What did I miss this time? A short-term memory process. I don't care about that. Oh, I thought it was going to be a different prize this time. 
Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. The variety in the game rewards can be improved. Can improve in the game's design. I'll try to think of something different for the next time we play. I don't really want that build, to be honest. It's okay, don't worry about it. Although, I gotta confess, the anticipation has me excited for the next game already. I wonder, I mean, I would fuck with the pill if it was like, if it was like, they're going to answer completely, truthfully, and honestly. You know what I'm saying? Like, they can't hold back. Like, that would be something I'd put in there. But that memory center shit, I don't know. I mean, can, I gotta use it to find out, I guess. I wish I had gotten another one so I could just see what happens. Glad you're having fun. Ah, listen. I think I'm gonna close for today. My gut tells me we won't be getting any more clients until tomorrow. Yes, it does look like that. Can you tell too? Do you have instincts? What you humans call instincts are just deductions your brain has drawn for you. You simply cannot follow the logical sequence due to the visit amount of data your brain processes. Unlike you, I'm able to keep up with my brain. Damn, bitch. Basically, yes, your gut is right. We won't be having any more clients tonight. Glad to hear, because my leg is killing me. Let's call it a night. Okay.